Hello, welcome to Jeannie's Art Adventures again. Um, I'm still in pursuit of those nice cells from a dirty pool that I don't see I'm able to get. So today, I'm just using an old canvas, ignore that, that's just one that's drying for another time and I can't get the camera any closer. But yeah, I'm using an old canvas. Um, I'm, I'm also trying house paint white again. So much cheaper and I can't seem to make it work, so... I haven't tried it for a few months, so I'm giving it a go again. I've got the white, I've got this lovely magenta, um, I've got some pre-mixed black, silver in a little bottle there, um, blue, a sort of a deepish blue, what's that one, phthalo blue, and a bit of cerulean blue, which are pre-mixed, it's the last of the containers, so I just stick some Floetrol in and give them a good shake. And then I've got these little bottles down here, like these. This is what I do when I have any paint left over, and so I can add like little squirts of colour in whenever I need them. Normally I'd mix one in this, pour it in the middle and then try and tilt it out, but I'm going to mix two, flip them over and see if I can get a better result that way. Might work, might not, as we say. So I'm just going to tip my colours in. And we'll see how they go. Because the other ones are all pre-mixed, the only ones I've been able to stick any silicon in is the white and the pink, or the magenta. Um, unless I stick some in these bottles, and then it won't work for when I don't want any. So, um, But I have also given the inside of these cups a quick spray with silicon. Um, I do that quite a lot because it just helps the paint pull out and stops so much staying in there and getting wasted. I hate this. Obviously didn't shut the cap quite properly and you get bits on and right, a little bit that. Oh this is really running though. It's a bit of a bummer. Right, a little bit of my black. Not too much black because same thing again. Just pick off those bits. Black I find tends to dominate, so I just want a little bit. I've actually got some in the squirt bottle, it probably would have been more sensible to use that. A little bit of this silver. Then I'm going to go for some of my, this is a different magenta. It's a golden one, whereas that's royal and, how can I say it, royal and langanical. Some more blues, I'm not entirely certain what blues are in here keep reusing the bottles and where it dries on them you can't always tell what it is so a little shot of this kind of greeny colour just for interest oh, actually it's pale blue it's not green at all look at that Can you see in there that last little squirt that I put in was pale blue never mind what's this one mystery colours oh there's a bit of green little shot of green I love those cells that you get that have got like loads of different colours in. I'm going to put some more white now. Um, I'll just have to stop in a minute and look up how much paint I need. While I'm squirting away, another blue. I do find the blues seem to sell up a lot easier than any other colour, I don't know why little bit of deep purple here it's dioxazine purple which is a lovely rich dark one I like the soft lilacs but I also like deep dramatic ones the same with all colors really I like the dark ones the um, crimson and magentas and the really dark blues like Prussian and things like that with this green you can see I'm very science minded when I'm flipping all these in Actually, I've got some gold here a little bit of that so I'm just going to drop a bit of that in see if it comes out there's not much in there sometimes I use these for ones when I finish painting and then I just squirt little bits of colour on so um, that works quite well too, you know, sometimes you do a painting and it's just a bit bland looking and you want to give a little bit of extra zoom to it, so little shots of pure colour like that and then you can tilt it a little bit 
or not as you wish and um, it really makes a difference right I'm just seeing it's a 12 by 12 canvas and my chart says 12 by 12 this is 5 ounces and these are 10 ounce cups so I want more paint I'll put some of this in from high don't know whether it does anything, but we'll see. A bit more of this yummy blue. Be quite sad when this blue's gone. I like it. Is it yeah, phthalo blue? Schmink. No, is it schmink? Yeah, schmink. That is ancient. That's got to be about 15 years old. One of the very first ones I ever bought. But I used to just do like conventional painting. So these little bottles would last me ages. Not now. Go through loads of paint. That's the trouble really, isn't it? Sometimes everything comes out right and it's great. And sometimes it just comes out a mess. I'm just going to scrape those last bits in. Seems as we got them there. I could put them in one of my little bottles. But I've got to jump on because it was cold this morning and now the sun's come up and I'm hot in here so I want to try and get it done so I can go out and go and get changed. I just leave these to dry afterwards and then I use them. Occasionally I reuse them if it's not too thick um, or I use them to prop things up with. I have found that if the paint's too thick in them, when you put the paint in again, it kind of softens up the others and that's when I get lumps so I try and take a bit of care on there right as you'll see I've splattered it everywhere um, a bit more blue maybe because I put quite a lot of red in there didn't I and that ought to be plenty of paint it looks absolutely gorgeous in there I'll just lift it up and show you oops that's it Drop the paint under my wheelchair. I haven't put my overalls on, so I'm trying to be careful and not spill it. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? On that one? Right. Now, I've done it where you put the canvas on top like that and then just turn it over. But I keep seeing, well, I've seen, I think it's Julie, I think it's Julie Cuts. And she kind of just flips hers over and gets really nice cells. So I'm going to give it a go. I've tried it a couple of times. Flipped it right over the table a couple of times too. But here we go. One, two, three. Right. That actually looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I have to work on my flipping action. Right. Let's get my little torch ready. I like this. Will I keep those cells, do you think? I'm just going to scrape these bits out onto the edge here. See what I mean about how I put... I mean, these ones, I ought to start doing it for us. That one was plain. And this one I gave a squirt of silicon in it. And you can just see how it pours out much easier. Right, yep, same again with this one, look, next to nothing in there now. Also helps for reusing them when they're like that. I really need to start remembering to do it when I add the paint now. Excuse my hands, I'll just put them over out of the way. Right, I love these little cells here, see, I call them ladder cells. I don't know what they're called, I don't know what causes them, I wish I did because I love them. Now I need to reach the corners. Yeah, half an eye on the camera to see if you can see this. Losing some bits, but that's kind of inevitable with this way of painting. I 
I like the cells that stay as sharp shapes, but I also like the ones that elongate and kind of stretch the colours through, like these are here. Right. I'm just going to see if I can scoop up some paint. Without getting any of the old manky stuff there that's still a bit wet just to cover these corners with so I don't have to tilt more. Corners are always a bugbear for me. Right, I'm going to turn that round. I've got to say, I hope this white paint works on this because I'm really happy how it is at the moment. I've got some yummy stuff overrun here. It's typical, isn't it? Get some really nice bits on the runoff. Get my hand under and get a little bit for here. Right, I think that's... I just have to get right close. My eyesight's not great. And I keep coming to what I think is a finished one and finding little bits I've missed. So I'll try and get right close up now. I could torch that some more or I could leave it. What do I do? Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to have to torch it a little bit. Just because... Some nice little bits coming out there. Yeah. Right, and that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. And then a big fingers crossed that that dries like that because I really like it. I'm just trying to try and lift it up to the camera so you can see. I am really pleased with this one. Look at that. Oops. Don't, sorry. Right. Can't tip it anymore. It's going to fall off. And I'm not risking that. <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching. Um, when this is dry, hopefully without cracking, um, I'll pop it up on the blog. It's quite nice weather at the moment. So, hopefully, two or three days. Um, and I'll show you more then. Bye. Thanks for watching.